This is doing Battle Royale the Black Ops way. This is Blackout! Um, hey, hey bro, could you, uh, just, do you mind flipping that switch you just turned on? Yeah, yeah, no, I'm trying to play a, I'm trying to play a game at the moment, if you don't, no, no, cool and all, no, no, it was great, I just need to, okay, okay, <laughs> thanks. Salutations, good people. I'm the Scottish Hush Puppy, and today we've got our work cut out for us and our hands full because we are talking about five things we have on our wish list when it comes to Black Ops 4 Blackout Mode. Now, if there's anything I say in this video that you agree with, awesome. If there's something that you'd like to tweak just a hair, then that's even better. And if there's something that you disagree with that I say, perfect. Because together as a community, we ultimately shape these games because the game developers listen to our voices, they watch these videos, things of that nature. Let us know what's going on in your wish list, but this is mine. We're going to get started right now. Number five is being able to turn off vehicles. We already know we're going to get vehicles, but having the option to turn that off might play to a lot of players who don't necessarily want to spawn in and within the first two minutes get a helicopter landed on their head because someone got lucky and landed near a helicopter or a, I don't know, uh, base uh, hangar that houses airplanes and helicopters and, and things of that nature. So being able to turn that off could be really, really freaking helpful. Uh, it's not that I'm against vehicles. Don't get me wrong. I really, really wish Fortnite had some type of vehicles other than a shopping cart. So, yeah, it's not that I'm against them. It's just that would be a fantastic option to have for a lot of players. If you want to play one way one day and you want to play another way another day, then it would be fantastic to have the options. Obviously, gamers of today want to have options. We want options. So give us the option to do that, and I think that's how you make... You're never going to make everybody happy, but I believe that's how you make most people happy. Number four is going to be short and to the point. Call of Duty, go ahead, help us out tremendously, and make this thing a cross-platform type of deal. Okay, let's be able to play with our friends on Xbox if we're on PS4. Let's be able to play with our friends on PS4 if we're on Xbox. PC, being able to play with everybody. Everybody being able to play with PC. Let's go ahead and make this happen. I know it's not a small thing, but be the change that we gamers so desperately need. Save us. Save us from this toxic comment section that we're plagued with every time we want to watch a video and read the comments while we're watching it or listening to it and we see this constant ongoing stupid debate if you made this thing cross-platform it would end that i'm done with number four number three in my opinion number three is the reason that people went from PUBG to fortnite and that is Keep the action level up, guys. Keep it up there so that people do not get bored. That maybe there's like like a two to three tier option on how long you would like your match to last at a rough maximum. Okay, why else would somebody go from paying for a game like PUBG to Fortnite that is absolutely free and always has been? It's to keep the action level up. It's to keep the intensity up. Okay, if you like sneaking around and you like being stealthy and things like that, it goes back to number five, which is the, having the option to turn the, the vehicles on or off. Okay, if you don't want just all-out chaos, then go ahead and turn the, turn the vehicles off. If you want all-out chaos and you want to be able to find your guy soon, you want to get into the action a lot faster, then you should have the option to turn vehicles on, which will in turn keep the action level higher and it'll keep the action level at a maximum, okay? 
the action level should be up here rather than somewhere in between PUBG and Fortnite. It should be at a maximum. I know whenever I played PUBG that if I died early on, I would say, mm, I think it's time to turn in because it's pretty late and I don't have time for a whole nother uh, PUBG match. But if I've ever been playing Fortnite, I've said, mm, I know this doesn't take that long, so I think I've got time for another one and then another one and another one. And it keeps players engaged. So that's number three. Number two, having loadouts. At least at the start, or at least a starting weapon, okay? Imagine anytime you've played a Battle Royale game, you've gotten loaded in the map, you come across someone who just got lucky, and they picked up an AR, and they completely waste you, and you have no time to even think about picking up another weapon. Having loadouts would be a fantastic way to keep people from getting frustrated and having to start the map over and over and over again so that they can stay in the game and at least have a fighting chance within the first, I don't know, two to five minutes-ish. Because think about it, if you're stuck with absolutely nothing and it takes you, I don't know, five to ten punches, I don't, I'm not sure what it is in PUBG, to absolutely kill somebody at the start and it takes in swings with an axe on Fortnite to kill somebody completely and it's pretty frustrating when someone else has a gun and it makes me wonder are Fortnite characters tougher than PUBG characters because they're using an axe versus just punches on number one updates guys come on we know that this is what has kept Fortnite at the level that it's at, is updates. It doesn't matter. I'm going to get a text saying, Hey man, have you saw the new Fortnite update? I never hear any of my friends or family saying, Hey man, have you heard about the new PUBG update? It's obviously what has kept the fans involved, the fans interacting. It really does make a huge, huge difference. Now, World War II did a great job with community updates that keeps players engaged. We want that kind of stuff. New skins. Fortnite had the birthday cake deal recently. Come on, imagine if Call of Duty had something like that. All right, Treyarch, we know you guys can deliver on that. Imagine the weapon updates. If it's just one weapon update a month, imagine all of the weapons that Call of Duty has accumulated over the years with all of the COD games. A zombie's perk inside of Blackout. There may already be a zombie perk, okay? There may already be uh, a ton of all kinds of things pulled from multiplayer, pulled from campaign, pulled from zombies modes that keeps people engaged and it doesn't matter where they came from in COD. If you're a Call of Duty fan, maybe it's all of the things that keep you engaged. I'm a fan of multiplayer. I'm a fan of the campaign. I'm an even bigger fan of zombies, okay? For my zombie fans out there, can you imagine PhD Flopper in Blackout? Imagine that. Just think about it. So if there are any other things that you guys would like to see in Blackout, let us know again in the comments below and tell us if there's something crazy or weird that you'd like to see. Score streaks, how is that going to play a factor? Is it going to play a factor whatsoever? What are we going to see? Could we have a mothership and take out absolutely everybody at the end of a Blackout game if, if it's you and nine other people, if you're in the top ten? Think about if it's you and another person, and you're just the, you're the last two, okay? And you have a lightning strike score streak that you've earned. Imagine not having to sneak around, having having your anxiety to the max, things like that. You just hit a lightning strike, and boom, the other guy's dead. Would you like that? Would you think that would be game breaking? Would you think it wouldn't really go with the whole battle royale? competitive nature of it all? Would it just break the game the game mode completely? What are your thoughts on that? Either way, this video has been a blast making. Thank you guys for watching. We've been the Scottish Hush Puppy and I got some food to go eat.